Did you know people are making hundreds of dollars a day just by pinning images online, but without a product and without any following? Now, in the next few minutes, I'll show you how to turn Pinterest into your personal cash machine using a simple strategy that anyone can copy. Now look, stay with me because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to start earning passive income from today onwards. No more talk, let's get into it. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna give you five steps to go from zero to at least 5K a month using the power of AI and the power of Pinterest together, fused together, and and if you do this correctly, you can make passive income for months and years to come. So I'm not gonna waste time in this video. I'm pretty much gonna go through the five steps right now. The first one is to find a profitable niche. I'm gonna show you how to do that in minutes for free. Also, I'm gonna show you how to let AI write blog posts for you that rank and earn very easily for you. I'm gonna show you how to design viral Pinterest pins that drive free traffic. I'm gonna show you free tools and paid tools. You can choose which one works for you. Lastly, I'm gonna show you how to automate your Pinterest traffic machine by using scheduling tools. Again, some are free, some are paid. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to monetize your blog, bring it all together, put in ads by inserting ads, by also inserting affiliate tools. And also, if you're smart, add in an opt-in box and grabbing people's information, their email address, add them to your list and then promoting to them on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you wanna make an extra income online, if you wanna make passive income online, this video is gonna be for you. As I mentioned, it's gonna be short and simple. Let's get into it. So look, I wanna give you some examples of some accounts that I've recently grown up to hundreds and thousands and millions of impressions with lots of several thousand clicks on a day-to-day -day basis. This is my case study account. It's in the home decor niche. This account is monetized by ads and affiliate. Here is another account. This one is in the fashion space. So think about hair, think about nails, think about beauty, for example. Again, this has started up probably around the beginning of January, we saw some spikes. This has gone up to over 2.7 million impressions, around 25,000 outbound clicks. And then again, monetized with ads and also affiliate products. And lastly, this one is in the food and recipe niche. As you can see, this has been grown from the beginning of January and it's gone all the way up to around 60,000, around 70,000 impressions per day. So 1.8 million impressions, around 10,000 outbound clicks. And we're literally just getting started. This massive growth on Pinterest is all possible by following these five steps. So let's get into those five steps right now. So if you are trying to make a passive income and you are trying to make a side hustle, or generally if you're just trying to make money online and you've been stuck, follow these video steps from start to finish. So first off, you wanna find a profitable niche. Now there's tons of ways to find niches, but I'm just gonna use the Pinterest tool itself because it's the easiest way to do it. And I'm gonna show you the top three niches that I'd recommend you go into or niches that I'd recommend you go into if you're starting out from new. So if you're new to Pinterest, you definitely wanna sign up. Go to the Pinterest trends on the top left-hand side bar here. So once you're here, you wanna go down to the filters on the side here. This is where all the magic happens. Uh, you wanna to go to monthly trends and then you wanna look at some of the search volumes here, okay? Now, if you wanna win with Pinterest and you wanna create a passive income for yourself online, then use the search volume as your friend, okay? So pick one of the keywords and one of the niche ideas and one of the topic ideas that have relatively high search volume. So that basically means anything on this page will do really well if you create an entire Pinterest account around it. So dinner recipes is a perfect example. We have winter fashion inspiration. That's pretty cool. Keep scrolling down. We can see fashion is doing really well. We can see nails are doing really well. Hairstyles are doing really well. Uh, tattoo inspirations are doing really well. So the three biggest niches on Pinterest are number one, in no particular order, fashion. Number two, food. And number three, home decor. Okay, so if you're starting from new, pick any of these niches and build out a campaign in Pinterest based on those niches. If you have a specific skill in one of the other areas in Pinterest, for example, you have a skill in design or maybe you have a skill in, in, in finance, for example, then by all means, go do that. But if you are just looking to make extra income online and you want to tap into an already high impression and high engagement and high eyeballs on Pinterest, then for sure, check one of these keywords here and start thinking and brainstorming some ideas. So recipes are one of the biggest niches on Pinterest and probably the easiest for everyone to understand. This is the graph of interest over time for this particular keyword. And then we have some metrics for the demographics here. So you can see it's mainly female and you can see some of the pins at the bottom here. So we'll click into a few of these now. Also, as I mentioned, fashion does ridiculously well on Pinterest. As you can imagine, it's mainly a female dem demographic and this one is around hairstyles. This might not be for everybody, but of course, if you're a woman and you fully understand this market, this is a no brainer to go into. As, I as is things like nails, but I think for our example, we'll go to dinner recipes because it's the simplest to understand and it is, and pretty much anyone can get into it. So now we have our niche. Let's put that back into here in the keyword. We'll type in recipes and then we'll open up. And then I will open up a few of these keywords to get a few more recipe ideas. And as you can see, this is sorted by search volumes. So any keyword that you choose that have really high search volume, as long as you can get your pin ranked on the home feed, which I'm going to show you how to do right now, 
then this is gonna give you the highest chance of getting high impressions and making a ton of cash. So let's open up a few of these. Now I'd recommend that you choose keywords that are trending up. So for example, this pasta salad recipe looks pretty cool because you can see there's some AI information here to show that it's gonna be continuing to trend up over the next few months. So we'll go into a few of these keywords here. This is pork chop recipes, this is chicken thigh recipes, and the one I like the most was pasta salad recipes because it had an upward swing. So we're gonna take advantage of that seasonality and the upward and those increased engagement and those eyeballs. So we have our niche, we have our keyword. Now let's create our blog post. Quick pause, if you are enjoying the content and you really want to unlock the next level of success with Pinterest, then I, then I urge you to sign up to my newsletter. I am sharing the best tips, the most up-to-date tips, things that are working for me in 2025 in detail with step-by-steps of exactly how I am growing my Pinterest accounts across my several accounts plus all my agency accounts. Plus I have around 20 or so blueprints that give you the step-by-step -step methods of how I scale out accounts up to $10,000 with no jargon or fluff. This is exactly what I do and all the tools I use to scale up my Pinterest accounts. If you're interested, this is all 100% free, so please sign up with the link below this video. Let's carry on. Now we're on to step two, and that means we're gonna have to create a blog post. Now there are two ways to do this. You can either do it manually, and that's creating a blog post yourself, maybe using writing it yourself if you're an author, or you have some type of writing skills, potentially paying a VA. Or what I recommend you do is just use AI, utilize the tools that are out there right now. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, and I'm gonna show you what I do to fast track the entire process and the tools that I use to create blog posts in literally seconds. So this blog post is gonna be SEO optimized. It's gonna be a high quality blog post and we're gonna use AI to create it. So all this means basically for you is you can publish consistently without having to be a writer because we're looking for fast results from this particular type of setup. So this is the tool that I use, it's called Content Goblin. It is pretty much an AI content generator for your entire blog. If you're yet to set up a blog, then by all means go and set up a blog. They are pretty simple to do and you can check out another YouTube video to do that. Once you've got your blog set up, let's go and add some new blog posts to it and get some traffic to those blog posts ASAP. So, so this is what the tool looks like. We're going to go to image list of call on the left hand side here. We're going to grab our keyword, so pasta salad recipes, and just take a note of all of these different designs here because we're going to try and create designs that are similar or slightly better than these designs, which is our competition. We're going to leave the image quality as is. We're going to put the section type to long and we're going to type in the article topic here. Now, if you have some advanced information on the image prompts, feel free to add them there. If not, we can just hit generate. We're going to have 15 images to create and we're going to hit generate at the bottom here. Now, while this is creating, if this all makes sense to you and you are enjoying the video so far, then please subscribe. These videos do take a little while to create and I would appreciate if you could show some love to the channel. Let's carry on. Okay, that's done. It's probably taken around 30 seconds or so and we have a lovely listicle with gorgeous images and some text in, the, in between. These all look very, very tasty. Uh, of course, you can regenerate some images if you decide to. So for example, we can just regenerate this one by hitting on the regeneration uh, button at the bottom here and it will regenerate the image for you. Um, of course, you can regenerate with the prompt as well. But the point is you have 15 very, very healthy, um, very, very suitable Pinterest friendly and also correct sizes for Pinterest. Um, I'd recommend you probably go in and just give this a quick read um, because this is, a, this is about food. On the other niche itself, for example, home decor, you don't have to spend as much time, but when it comes to food, you probably wanna just take a look at it to make sure that it makes sense. But in terms of 30 seconds of a blog post being created, this looks pretty good if you ask me. And once you're ready, you click on this button here and it will create a WordPress draft directly into your blog for you. Then you can simply publish it and then you have a blog post done. And the point I'm trying to make is the more blog posts that you make, the more pins that you make on Pinterest, the more traffic you can generate and then the more revenue you generate, which means you can fast track your way to $5,000 a month faster and easier. So that is the demonstration of how I would create blog posts using AI. Now I'm gonna go into number three, which is to design viral Pinterest pins that drive free traffic for you. And here I'm going to use AI powered design tools. So for example, Canva, but again, also other AI tools that you can utilize to create scroll stopping pins that send thousands and thousands of visitors to your blog for free. This for me is one of the simplest ways to generate income online, especially in 2025. So as you've seen, this is a blog post. Now we need to create the actual pin. So here's a pin for this chicken pasta recipe. Again, there's, there's a pin here. And a pin is just an image that the audience in on Pinterest is going to see. If they like the look of it, then they're going to click through and press a visit site. Now a free place for you to grab 20,000 or so templates for free is Canva. Canva has and been around for decades and you, there's tons and tons of different free templates that you can use. So for example, once you find one that you love, so let's say we love this one, for example, we'll go into it, click into it, and then once you're inside, you can edit these images, plug in new ones, change the text, and just have fun and create a pin that is suitable for Pinterest. But of course, as you can imagine, this is gonna take time because you're gonna to have to generate several pins on a day-to-day -day basis. And doing this every single day for different URLs on different blog posts with a variety of different pin images, it will take too much time. Let's fast track that entire process by using AI tools.
So we're back in Content Goblin and we are going to go to Pin Generator on the left hand side here. We're going to go to our keyword, which was passed out style of recipes. We're going to grab that and put it into the pin text. Uh, let's put in maybe 15 or so past the side of recipes. We are going to add our domain. So let's go for example.com. Um, we can add some negative prompts if we need, but we don't need to do any of those things. We're going to keep it simple because I want to show you how to do this in a really simple way. Uh, we're going to grab on one of the style types here. So we'll do John style and we're going to hit two pins and press generate. Quick. Okay, cool. So it's generated two pins for us designs there. It's taken about seven seconds, which is pretty cool. Let's keep playing with the style tile to see if we can find anything else that looks a bit more like a competition or potentially better, which was looking a little bit like this. And remember, we can also change some of the text if we need to. Let's go back to our pin generator. Okay, these are looking pretty cool. Uh, we can also add some information into the image prompt here. So if you want specific dishes or specific colors, we can add that in here. We're not gonna do that today. I'm gonna keep it simple. We're gonna type in uh, collage and press generate. Okay, I really love these. These are pretty cool. And as you can see, in around a minute or so, we've got six really, really cool, very, very, eye-popping pin designs that we've created using the power of AI. We've also got a blog post. So now we are now we are really cooking when it comes to this entire process. Now, by all means, you can create these pins manually, but I recommend using these AI tools because they are way more faster, very, very affordable, and they get the job done. And they even look better than the actual templates that you can use on Canva. If this, if this all makes sense to you, feel free to click on the link below this video. If you want to check out Content Goblin, it's a fantastic tool that I use all the time, and I would 1000% recommend it to speed up this entire process. Let's carry on. Okay, cool. So we are on number four now. So we're going to automate this entire Pinterest traffic machine. Uh, just to give you a quick recap, we've found a profitable niche. We know how to do that. We have also used an AI tool to write blog posts or potentially we've written it ourselves, either, either or. Thirdly, we have designed pins that can create more traffic than we are able to handle. Hopefully if you do it correctly and you continue to scale up your account. And now we're going to, and now we're going to automate the entire process by setting up some automating tools. So once the process is dialed in, you can either, either manually schedule the pins yourself or you can use some tools. Now, I've used Tailwind for many, many years. It is very, very, very intuitive, very simple to use, and it does streamline the entire process, but it's a bit expensive. So Tailwind is what I'd recommend first if you want to schedule the pins out over the amount of a week or maybe a month and allow Tailwind to schedule it all out for you. But I'm also about sharing options that are either free or a significantly reduced rate. And I think Metrical is probably going to be a bit, a bit more beneficial, especially for beginners. They have free accounts that you can use just for Pinterest. And also their pricing is a lot more affordable than other services that do exactly the same thing. So between the one or the two, this is how I automate the entire scheduling process. Now, once you're cooking and you have your blog post that you're created with AI or yourself, or you've got these pins that you created and you're starting to get traffic in and you're starting to get impressions, the next thing you want to do is try to monitor. The next thing you want to do is monetize your blog and scale up to around $5,000 a month. How you do that is by plugging in ad networks. I'm gonna show you two that I'd recommend right now. Plugging in affiliate links. I'm gonna show you one that I think is the best and the most usable in, in, in pretty much any niche. And then once you've got all those things dialed in, you double down on what works. And this is how you continue to grow from, from a few bucks to a few hundred bucks to a few thousand dollars in a relatively short time. So I'm not talking about a few weeks, but realistically a few months. So this is the first ad, ad network that I'd recommend. This is Zoic. It is an intelligent ads for in identity rich content ad network. Uh, I've been using it quite frequently and they do allow AI, AI content. So that's definitely a plus for you. And also the amount that they pay out per impression is pretty good. But if I'm being honest, I do prefer option two, which is Journey by Mediavine. They are a little bit more stricter on their AI rules. So bear that in mind. Now, lastly, once it's all done and you have your ads integrated and for sure you can send, send some support tickets to those networks and they will seamlessly integrate those ads for you or show you how to do it. The next thing you're going to want to do is sign up to Amazon Affiliate. This is the biggest platform for affiliate commissions online and they make it really seamless to add those links of affiliate products from the Amazon database to your blog. And also, I just want to give an example of what this all looks like specifically for our example that we've shown. So on paper, this is a Pinterest account that has over 5.7 million views. You can see all of the different boards and the pins and the creations that this particular person and profile have created. One of those was the chicken pasta recipe that we saw from before. And if we hit this visit site button, we go over to the blog post. This is similar to the blog post that we've created, but probably with a few additional plugins that make it look a bit more smoother on the eye, but the concept is exactly the same. You can see they've got an email pop-up pop box here to uh, grab people's information and add them to a list. They've got recipes and they've also got ads. Now, these are from an ad network, as you can see here on the side and on the bottom, and they are generating income from ad revenue from building the list. And probably there will be some affiliate links in there somewhere. 
The point I'm trying to make is that once you dial this in, you can make a serious amount of money in a relatively short time by utilizing smart AI tools and free Pinterest strategies. Now, I hope this has all made sense to you. This has been a short video, but I purposely wanted to keep it slightly short to keep your attention. This has been a short video and I do have longer videos on my channel that go through every single part of this entire campaign and setup. If you want to continue to get some of the in-depth ways to make serious money online utilizing smart AI tools, then definitely feel free to subscribe to my channel. Now, if you've made it this far and you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. I am adding so much more val valuable videos over the coming months and I really want you to be a part of it. And I genuinely want to help you with Pinterest and other ways to make money online. Also, if you want to take your strategy to the next level and just have me pretty much go into your account and do all the keyword research for you, show you exactly what pins are working and what's not working, do all the competition research for you, and pretty much just lay out a plan step by step looking over your shoulder and helping you grow your account, then feel free to check out my Pinterest one-on-one -on -one coaching master one sessions below. They're super affordable. And so far, my coaching students are seeing fantastic results. So if that makes sense for you and you've got the budget to invest in yourself, then I'd highly recommend it because you get me to walk hand in hand with you through the entire journey, which I think is priceless. And it fast tracks your success and limits your mistakes. But that's pretty much it for me. If you have any comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Take care.